We're kicking off Kentucky Derby Week here at Gulfstream Park with an eight race card this Thursday afternoon. Make sure to come on out and join us. We'll send it upstairs to Pete Aiello with the scratches and the changes. It's a beautiful day, partly cloudy skies, temperatures in the mid 80s. The main track is fast, the Tapita track is fast, but we are off the turf today. First race, first half of the early daily double, starting leg of the 50 cent early pick five. It's a field of six, there are no changes to start the day. Racing at Gulfstream. In the middle, Marabina gets the first call and looks for the early advantage. Moving to her is the favorite, Pop Style. At the inside, it's Kip the Distance. Away in fourth is Valiant Kiss, followed fifth by China Blue, and Greta is last. Into the far turn they go. They're almost three in line. Long shot Kip the Distance has the lead by a neck. In between horses, Marabina three wide. Pop Style is now third. On from fourth, it's Valiant Kiss. Greta's underway. She was beaten for speed, but is drawing a bit closer now, and China Blue is last. They run to the first finish line, still three on the the top end with the rail advantage. Kip the distance has the lead. Marabina's working harder and not gaining. Long shot Valiant Kiss has a peak to the inside. Greta's running home from the outside. As they straighten for the drive, the two longest price horses in the race are one, two. Trying to run them down is Greta down the center. Final 16th of a mile and Valiant Kiss has the lead. Greta one more time. Valiant Kiss has the lead. Valiant Kiss wins. Close then for second, either Kip the distance or Greta. And fourth was China Blue in 53 and one. Jumper jumped off the mark pretty quickly, moving out the rail. Here's the favorite, Kingfish Stevens, on the go. In between that duo is Daniel Sun. They're almost three in line. The gray Uncle Curly is down at the inside and fourth, angling over his Mumza. The early trailer is the long shot, Sir Tete. Around the clubhouse turn they go. Clicking down to the second choice, or up, I should say. It's Kingfish Stevens, striding clear to a two-and-a-half length lead over Daniel Sun in second. Night Jumper is a patient third under Edgar Perez from the gray Uncle Curly. Then Momza and the trailer, Sir Tete. The opening quarter was 23-4. and four. They have less than six furlongs to go. It's Kingfish Stevens on top by a length and a half. Daniel Sun is in a pressing position in second with Night Jumper on the outside third. Uncle Curly is racing together with Momza and held up at the back is Sir Tete. There's been some pace on here as they race to the half-mile point. The leader, Kingfish Stevens, through an opening half of 47 seconds flat. He leads by a length and a half. Daniel Sun on the chase in second. Night Jumper moving up on the outside. He's into second now with a bid toward the lead. At the rail, that's the gray Uncle Curly. Then Momza, the trailer is still Sir Tete. The leader is still Kingfish Stevens. Less than 5 sixteenths from home. Night Jumper bidding up boldly now. He's up to stick a neck in front. Kingfish Stevens is all in. He's gone awfully quick. Uncle Curly is trying to rally from off the speed. Daniel Sun is wide and dropping back, and they're at the top of the stretch. They have Night Jumper to catch. He's off the turn on top by two and a half. Kingfish Stevens is second. Down the center, Daniel Sun is now third with an eighth of a mile left. Night Jumper finding he leads a length and a half. Daniel Sun's the one who's gaining late. Night Jumper needs to stay to his business as Daniel Sun getting a rally together. Here comes Daniel Sun on the outside of Night Jumper. Photo! I think he held on, Night Jumper, but Daniel Sun made it entirely too close at 139 and four. They're 
off. The newcomer, Wicked Phantom, off slow. Good start for He's a Butte, moving out the rail. Magic Souls on the go into the top flight. Manhattan Boy is now a three-wide third. Up to fourth goes Cajun's Choice, ahead of seven anniversary. And after the slow break, Wicked Phantom is last. In the run to the half-mile point, it's now He's a Butte and Manhattan Boy who kick on. They're a length in front of Magic Soul, who's together with Cajun's Choice, third and fourth. Another two back to seven anniversaries within five of the speed, and a long way last is Wicked Phantom. They pass the 5 sixteenths. He's a Butte has the lead by a neck. Manhattan Boy is asked to quicken to go after the leader in second. Zayas looks like he's got some run with Magic Soul. Plots a course of action from the inside. Outside, that's Cajun's choice, and they're at the top of the stretch. The rail is open for Magic Soul. Over the top, Manhattan Boy. He's a Butte's weakening. They come past the eighth pole. Who do you like here? They're across the course. At the rail, it's Magic Soul. Three path, Manhattan Boy. Over the top, Cajun's choice tries to run home. Final sixteenth of a mile. It's Magic Soul just in front. Cajun's Choice with a late bid. Magic Soul wins. Magic Soul from Cajun's Choice and Manhattan Boy. They're off. Another awful start for Did I Dazzle You. She was six lengths slower than the others. Super Spin and Emily's on fire. The first two to begin from West Bank, who comes away in third. Outside fourth, too hot to stop. Then Lace Curtain. And with it all to do at the back of the field, Did I Dazzle You, she's last of all. And the run to the half mile point, Super Spin putting up the numbers. She's in front by almost two. Emily's on fire is second. West Bank is now third. Up the rail, Lace Curtain is there fourth. Another two to two hot to stop and three more to Dizai Dazzle You. The opening quarter, rock solid here. 22 seconds flat as they round the far turn. It's Super Spin in front by three. West Bank now let go for a run by Bravo. She's improving into second. Back to third is Emily's on fire. Four ahead of Lace Curtain. Trying to wind it up from the back is Did I Dazzle You. The trailer is too hot to stop as they run past a half and 45 and four. West Bank has now taken a narrow lead. Super Spin is fighting back second. Emily's on fire. Resurgent toward the inside. She's not finished with and she's coming back. Back at the rail. Back from fourth, it's Did I Dazzle You, then Lace Curtain. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Emily's on fire, rallies through at the inside. Super Spin is still in between horses, and West Bank is flattening out. Sixteenth to go. It's Super Spin who's still in front. Super Spin will give Orsino and Zayas two on the day. She's a nine to one winner. Emily's on fire second. West Bank, she was third. Then Did I Dazzle You and Lace Curtain, 118 and two. Friendly 15% takeout. Coast to Coast Pick 5. Every weekend. Shipwreck was quick off the blocks in the middle. Here's Hey Hey Harry moving out in between horses. Midnight Onyx not far away. Midnight Onyx and Hey Hey Harry 1-2. Fort Charles is angling off the inside to race into the clear from third. She might dance salsas on the far outside. Back from there, 16 cigarettes in front of Chacharero, then Antillian and Baltic Mule. The early trailer is Shipwreck. 
They make their way by the opening quarter in 24 and 1. And with the advantage, it's now Midnight Onyx by an act. Hey, hey, Harry is second. Fort Charles is third. She might dance. Salsa is there fourth. Chachereros and the Red Blinkers covered up, racing together with 16 cigarettes. Then Antillian and Shipwreck and taken out of the race, Baltic Mule. The two is pulled up. They went the opening quarter in 24 and 1. They have half a mile to go. Fort Charles bidding up three wide through a 47 and 2 half. Midnight Onyx is at the rail trying to hold tough between his Hey Hey Harry. A length and a half to Chacharero, who's a length in front of 16 cigarettes. Then comes She Might Dance Salsa and Tilly and Ann Shipwreck as they round the far turn. Edgar Perez has the lead with Fort Charles at the 5 16th. On top by a length and a half, Midnight Onyx trying to respond for pressure. Back to third, Hey Hey Harry. Then on the outside, 16 cigarettes. Chacharero is fifth, and they're at the top of the stretch. Fort Charles has the lead. Midnight Onyx tightened up and now off cover to try to go get him again. And down the center in 16 cigarettes. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Fort Charles on top by three. 16 cigarettes starts to gain on him. 16th to go. Fort Charles almost home. 16 cigarettes is out of time. Fort Charles wins. 16 cigarettes second. Hey, hey, Harry third. Then Chacharero in Midnight Onyx. 138-3. They're off. Verena was a step slow. Mobe Princess away quickly from the outside draw, tries to clear the inside traffic from Lady O'Brien, who's taken in hand to move to a flanking position in second as Mobe Princess has worked over to the rail. At the rail, it's Gossiper, who's a joint third alongside Take Your Point, then back to an on-hold Reina Mar, and the trailer is Verena. There's no pace on. Mobe Princess tries to stack him and pack him with the one to five favorite. Lady O'Brien tugging in second. Three wide take your point is now third from a headstrong gossiper fourth. Back to fifth, Raina Mar, and the trailer remains a Verena. They make their way by a quarter in just 25 seconds flat as they amble into the backstretch now. On the inside, it's Mobe Princess nursing a neck advantage from the heavy favorite, Lady O'Brien, second. Three wide take your point is now third, and a pocket fourth is Gossiper. She's a bit more settled now for Bravo, about two and a half lengths off the speed. Second last, Raina Mar, the trailer Verena. The leader is Mobe Princess. They went to half in 49 and four fifth seconds, and Mobe Princess leads by a length. Lady O'Brien poised to strike second, three wide. Take your point is now third. Gossiper gets the hurry up to launch a bit in fourth, then back to Verena and Raina Mar. Around the far turn, they go at the 5 16 Mobe Princess got a soft opening quarter, but she has a big favorite to deal with, and Lady O'Brien, who's to her throat latch now second. Looking for room as Gossiper to try to tip and roll with Take Your Point next, and they're at the top of the stretch. Very confident Zayas handling on Lady O'Brien, and she bids up to take on Mobe Princess. Mobe Princess fighting the good fight with Lady O'Brien, powering past. Gossiper loose for the drive and charging, trying to get into second. Final 16th of a mile, it's Zayas for three on the card as Lady O'Brien is clear with no dangers. Lady O'Brien to win it. Gossiper second, Mobe Princess third, take your point as fourth, then Reina Mar, 144-1.
at the rail. Goats on a tree gets the first call and looks like she wants to make the pace here from She Takes Cash, who's away in second. Refugiata's between horses. La Mirada's out deep and saving ground as well. Lucky in the charge to the first turn. It's Goats on a Tree for Safi and Zayas in front narrowly. Alongside the leader is She Takes Cash in second, very wide to this first turn. La Mirada, Refugiata's between horses, and at the rail, it's Wow Lucky. So they're two by three in the run past the opening quarter. Goats on a Tree went that opening quarter in just 25 and one. She leads by an neck. Up on the outside, it's She Takes Cash now second. The trio at the back are La Mirada, Refugiata, and Wow Lucky. But the entire field now take even closer order. They're almost four in line up front. A length and a half from first to last, and the run four and a half furlongs from home. Goats on a tree trying to back down the speed with Wow Lucky up behind her as she takes caches alongside her. Refugiata is next. La Mirada deep on the course as they make their way through a half in 49 and 3. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. They quickened up a touch in that second quarter. Goats on a tree by a neck up on the outside. She takes cash is second. So Safi's 1-2 here. Refugiata worked on on the outside in third. At the rail, it's Wow Lucky and tamely dropping back La Mirada. They run to the top of the stretch now, and on the outside, she takes cash. Edwin Gonzalez looked over his shoulder, but he hasn't got to the barn buddy yet, as Goats on a Tree is still in front. Off the turn on the stretch drive, Goats on a Tree leads by almost a length. On the outside, she takes cash, is second off cover, while Lucky charging hard into second, but Goats on a Tree has a kick, and she's in front by two, while Lucky's out of time. Here's four for Zayas. Here's Goats on a Tree down the road. Well, lucky second, third, she takes cash. Fourth was Refugiata, then La Mirada. Post position order to start the late daily double. 143 and three. away. Live high, live low, quick off the blocks and in front narrowly for Thais the kicker alongside in second. Taken in hand, El Chato third at the inside in between horses because the night out three wide goes speed control, four wide Polyglata. Second last is Old Flag, the early trailer, silent and violent and the run around the first turn, live high, live low, has the lead, three parts of a length. Ice the kicker up on the outside is now second. It's a gap of three to El Chato, third at the inside. Followed fourth by Because the Night, two path about four lengths off the speed. Then it's Old Flag together with Speed Control. Second last is Polyglata. The trailer is silent and violent. 24 and 1 for the opening quarter. Down the back stretch they go. On the inside, live high, live low, by a neck. Ice the kicker is poised to strike second. El Chato closing ground at the inside. Old flags in the powder pop colors, red blinkers between. Out in the middle goes Because the Night, followed outside by Speed Control, then Polyglata, and a bit closer at the back is Silent and Violet. They went to half in 48 and 3. They leave the back stretch and move on to the far turn. Here's a three wide bid from Because the Night. That forces Bravo to go on Ice the Kicker, and Zayas is hard at work on Live High, Live Low. These three across the course. Old Flag launched four wide for a bid. El Chato's got some run. Big price down toward the rail. From the back, it's silent and violent as they swing for home. Ice the Kicker for a narrow lead. El Chato trying to hook to the clear. Old Flag tried to slam the door on him. Over the top at speed control. They come past the eighth pole. It's now Ice the Kicker doing battle with Live High, Live Low. Speed Control tries to pick him up. Zayas looking for five of the day. And Edgar, you've got it done. Live High, Live Low turned away all challenges to win by a length and a half. That wraps up eight of them here at Goldstream Park. Tomorrow we'll be back with you for Kentucky Oaks Day. We've got a card of eight races beginning at 110. Make sure to come out and join us.